Hey 7 up 7 here and welcome to my tutorial on how to tape and tissue mod a uh, slim piece too. And this is going to be labeled as part 4 of my Guitar Hero 2 custom tutorial, but it can also be used for other things. I use it all the time to play uh PS1 games. I have a video about how to play those too, so I use that for that as well. There's tons of uses for this mod. Um it's completely free, and if you do it right, it's safe. Not really anything to worry about, so let's just get started. What you're going to need, of course, your Slimline PS2. Uh, two screwdrivers, one flathead, one Phillips. You might not need the flathead, it depends. And they have to be really small tips, because these are small screws you're taking out. And not necessarily for this part, but for... Uh, overall the tape and tissue mod process you're going to need a pin cap is what I use just something like that that you'll be able to stick down and block a sensor and also a balled up piece of tissue for the same reason and then you're gonna of course need tape um, you can use I, I just use scotch tape I mean it works perfectly fine uh, but it's probably better to use electrical tape or duct tape or something like that but just any kind of tape works fine um, so what you do first is flip over your PS2, and you're going to have it on the back right here, and you see all of these little things. You're going to take those off, and just set them over to the side. Set those off. This is where you might need the flathead screwdriver, um, so just to pry these things off can be kind of difficult. Okay, it just flew off. Come on. Come on, you little... Mm, there we go. Alright, so now take your Phillips. And there's two little holes down here. Unscrew. Unscrew all your screws here. Dump this over. Come on now. It won't come out. Alright, now it's starting to. Alright, those two you have to dump it over to get out. I don't remember. I think I've owned every version of a slimline. This is the newest one. I just got this like a few weeks ago. Um, and I already had it taped and tissue modded. Um, but I don't know that all the screws are like that. They're all in the same places, but some of them are less difficult to get out than others. Personally, they've made it harder to tape and tissue mod. It actually took me a little while to figure it out. Uh, I have searched and searched and searched. I couldn't figure it out. I searched for other tutorials on how to do this for the new model, and I couldn't find it, so... Because it's different inside. Okay, now, make sure... Let me move this a little. Make sure you flip it back over to the normal way it would be. Or else you are going to have one screwed up PS2. Your disk drive will just fly out of it. And I've actually done that before. Thank God for uh, Best Buy's replacement plans, right? Okay, so then just take the cover off. Just, uh, it might sound like it's cracking it or something, but it's not. Just, I mean, don't be too rough with it, but just try to... Come on. It will not come off. Oh. Get it up on this side. There we go. All right, there we go. So now you have this off, and you can see the inner workings of your PS2. Now just have it where the disk drive is over on the right side here, and then you're going to look up right up in here. It's kind of hard to see since it's clear tape, but I have some tape right up in this area you can see a little uh... it's kinda come off, coming off a little bit you can see a little uh, dot back there where one of the screws goes in just put some back there 
Now, I don't know that that actually has anything to do with it, but I know that this is how I did it, and it works. Because I looked and looked. That's where the sensor always is. If you have one that's not the new model, and you have an older slim line, you'll find a sensor always right in this area. So just put a big piece of tape over all the grooves in that area. But for this model, there's also something right here I have some tape that I found. This thing right here, it's a little thing sticking out. Yeah, just put some right there as well. And then also, a third spot right here. Put some right in there, in this little place there. And those are all the places that I've taped it, and after I taped the th uh, third place, it started working. So, that's where I recommend, if you have the newest model, that you do it. So then just snap the cover back on, make sure on all corners that it's tight, flip it back over, be careful not to drop out the other side, don't want to lose that, and then just put your screws back in. That one's always difficult, I don't know why. It's always incredibly difficult. those down in there. So yeah, like I said, uh, you may be redirected to this for something else, but this has many, many uses. Oh, mostly all for playing mod discs of some kind, but I don't know. Okay, then put all these things back in their spots. Come on, you little bastard. There we go. That one. The little soft ones, make sure they go in the corner. Okay, now, that's the most difficult part. If you followed that exactly, you won't screw up your PS2. So that's the only thing you have to worry about. Now, open up the disk drive. I have my Guitar Hero custom disk in there already. And then, what you're going to do, I hope you can see in there. Uh, take that pin cap and the thing, and I'm not going to actually, you know, you can clearly see it's not plugged in, so I can't show you. That's in the next part of how to actually use this to play the guitar disc, guitar hero disc. Um, so take this pin cap, and you'll see this little uh, thing sticking out right here. Let me see if I can zoom it in. It's really hard to see it. Well, that's why I have this. Okay, this thing right here. See this? You can flick it like that. There's a hole right behind it. Stick this down in there. You'll see it will fold back. And then you won't have to hold that back. Then, right here. Take this piece of tape. And you see this little hole right here? I'll have to give it a little not so fat there. Put this right down in there. And now, you have a tape and tissue modded PS2. So check out part 5 on how to play the Guitar Hero Custom Disc. It's not very complicated. You just have to get your timing right. So uh, I actually have already made that video, so and I didn't say thank you for watching or anything. So I hope this tutorial was a great help for you. And uh, if you liked it, subscribe. I'll have plenty of actual custom videos. I got a new capture card now, so they'll be uh, good quality. And uh, yeah, check out anything else you want to see. So thank you so much for watching, and enjoy your Guitar Hero Custom.